Hi, welcome to the IBM Spectrum Protect Plus version 10.1.4. In this demo, I'm going to show you the new GUI and some of the changes and new features we've added. This includes some new restore screens, new jobs and operations panel, a way that you can take the schedules for the maintenance and inventory jobs and change when they run, some global preferences that can be changed through a panel and instead of having to edit the property file, language support, a way to look up different messages based upon a log message numbers, which will be globally supported. And finally, a non-editable demo site that encompasses the original storage that's installed when you first deploy Spectrum Protect Plus. So let's go ahead and get started. Let's start by doing a restore. The first thing you're going to notice is that this side panel now is flat and backup restore does not show up there. So instead, let's select VMware. And when we click on Hypervisors VMware, you'll see now on the right hand side, we have a create restore job. Another entry point to the restore jobs is through the jobs and operations icon on the left hand side. So if you click on jobs and operations, you can also choose the create restore job button from there. Next, you'll choose which type of object you want to restore. We're choosing VMware hypervisor. So now you'll be basically walked through a wizard to help you with the restore. The search and navigation capability now includes the ability to go in and look at hosts and clusters. And this is going to be very similar to what you would see in a vCenter web client where we can drill down into the different data centers, clusters, and hosts. So here's our vCenter, here's our data center. And if we click on that, then you see our clusters. Click on a specific cluster, you'll see an individual host listed. Okay. In this case, I'm just going to go ahead and search on a specific machine that I know I have backups for and want to do a restore. So I'll go ahead and type in the prefix to those machines. And now I can select one or more virtual machine to be restored. Click Next. Now you'll be prompted for the source of the snapshot. So the first box you can select from is the type of restore. Is it going to be on demand or are you going to schedule a reoccurring restore? In this case, we're going to do on demand. Next, choose where you want to restore from. Do you want to do a site, cloud offload, repository offload, which is Spectrum Protect, cloud archive, or a repository archive, which is Spectrum Protect tape? We're going to go ahead and select site. Next, choose a location that you want to restore from. We're going to go ahead and choose our primary location. You can now choose a point in time that you want to restore to. Click Next. The next few panels will look familiar. You need to, for instance, choose the destination where you want to restore. We'll go ahead and take the original ESX. And choose which data store you want to utilize for the restore and if you want the network settings restored. You can now optionally enter a new name for the VM you're restoring. Click Next, and that will take you to the Job Options panel. And you can choose, for instance, if you want to power on after recovery or overwrite virtual machines. Click Next. You also have the option to apply scripts. Now, all of these are optional, so if you did want to skip these optional steps, you can just click the Skip Optional Steps button on the bottom left. And then you won't even be prompted to answer those questions. Go ahead and click Next. And now you can submit this job once you've reviewed it. Click Submit. You'll see the info message that the restore has been created. Go ahead and click OK. And now if you want to see the information about the job, you'll go into Jobs and Operations. Here is the on-demand restore that we just kicked off. And you can scroll through and look at the logs. If you click on the arrow, it will expand the on-demand restore section so you can more easily read the log information. Also notice this new column with ID numbers in it. 
These ID numbers are all cataloged so that you can understand exactly what's going on. So if you just go look in the documentation for these specific ID numbers, it'll give you more insight and actions on those specific messages. Okay, let's go take a look at some of the other new features and functions in the 1014 GUI. First of all, you will notice that the Jobs and Operations Board has changed. And then if you go ahead and we drill down into the Schedule section, notice next to the inventory and the maintenance jobs, there's this calendar icon. And if you click on that, you can now edit when these maintenance jobs run. So you can go ahead and put in any time you want and then click Save. System admins can now make changes to the global preferences by simply going into this screen instead of having to edit the property file. Click on the System Configuration and Global Preferences tab on the left-hand side. From here, you can now make changes to things that are specific about, for instance, your backups, your hypervisors, your applications, security, password length, and things like that. So you can go ahead and make any changes you want here and those will be applied. We now also support multiple languages for the app. So if you go into your browser and change the language that you want your browser to display in. Now when you log back into Spectrum Protect Plus GUI, you'll notice that everything is now in the new language, in this case in French. If we take a look at the schedule logs, You'll notice that even though the messages are in French, the ID for the message number is still the same, and so this does make it globally searchable. Okay, switching back to English, if we go into the site's location, you will see a new site called Demo, and Demo is going to be the default for the storage that was installed when you first installed Spectrum Protect Plus, and this will just make it very apparent that this storage is just supposed to be used for test purposes and should not be put into production. So with that, thank you for listening to this demo on Spectrum Protect Plus 1014. Go ahead and install it and give it a try. Thanks.